All right, it's the Beatitudes, and we're going to learn how to paint a picture just like this with a bumblebee. So if you've got your bag, let's get it together and make sure we have everything you need to start painting. First off, you have your bag. So inside, you should have a canvas like this. This is what we're going to be painting. You also have five different colors of paint, a couple of paint brushes, and a worksheet. Don't forget also to get a cup with some water because you're going to need to be able to wash out your brushes. So let's get started and see if we can paint a bumblebee. We're going to start first with the white paint. So get your little container of white paint, open it up, and what we're going to be doing is painting this part on your bee just the wings. So try to stay close in. If it's not, it's okay. It's a bumblebee and they're all a little different anyway. So let's get our white paint and start painting. Take the big brush and just paint all the wings. All your bumblebee wings. I'm going to try to go around the edge really close. So as we're painting that, we've got real pretty bumblebee wings. How many wings does a bumblebee have? Mm, our bumblebee has two. So let's make sure we paint two wings on our bumblebee. And that's supposed to remind us too, the bee, of the Beatitudes. Remember, that's what you've been studying is the Beatitudes. So we're going to keep this so you can remember always about the Beatitudes. All right. So now we have the white wings all painted. And now that you've got the wings painted, we're going to move and do some yellow. All right, so now we have finished painting the wings. Let's wash out our brush and get ready to do the yellow. I'm going to put it in the water and get all that white paint out of it. And then wipe it out on a paper towel. Now, let's see. Let's get our yellow. So you've got a container with yellow paint. Let's open it up. Now look on the B, all the places we're going to paint yellow. So we're going to do the head, we're going to start on the body, and do a couple pieces on the body to make sure we get all of that yellow. So let's start painting the yellow. I'm going to start with the head and paint it pretty round. Now remember, just cover up the eyes, that's okay, because we've traced it in there, and you can actually see through the yellow a little bit when we get ready to go paint the eyes and the mouth you'll be able to see where to color that in with your paint. So let's get all the yellow. Just kind of go in circles. This brush works really well to kind of go in circles. So now we're going to start on the B, and we're going to start in this first section. Now it's going to look like the head's touching the body. That's okay, because we're going to fill it in later and trace around some of it. So just go and make it... A B is kind of striped, right? See, this is how we're going. We're doing the head, and now we're starting on the body. So we're going to skip a section and go right here and do this in the yellow, and then do this in the yellow. So let's make sure we leave some room to have black, because our bumblebee is two colors. Remember, it's yellow and black. Now when you get up to the wings, just be kind of careful as you go around the wings. They're still a little wet, but that's okay if it blends in a little bit because we're going to be going around it again with our um, marker later. We're going to take a Sharpie and outline it once it's good and dry. Then we'll outline all of it with the Sharpie. So just go around the wings. Then like this, we're going to go around the wings just a little bit. It's all right if it touches. It's okay. We're going to be tracing around that later. And then do the last part of our bumblebee going to be such a pretty bumblebee, and after you finish, maybe you'll want to name your bumblebee. We'll have to see if we can think of a good name for our bumblebee after we get it finished. So now you should have white and yellow all finished on the bumblebee. So now we're going to let this dry just a little bit. Put your brush over in your water. And let's look. We've got some worksheets to work on. Beatitude Match. We've got one that we can just color in all the different Beatitudes. And then we've got one that says 
break the code and you have to go through and break the code to be able to fill this in. It's got an example here, take the letters and then we'll go in and see what it says below. If you need some help, maybe there's someone there that can help you read it and go through the different worksheets. So let's take a little time, do our worksheets and let our white and yellow dry. Alright, now that it's dried a little bit, let's start with the blue. We're going to take the blue and go around just on the outside a little bit. We're not going to actually touch the bee anywhere. Just get the blue sky a little bit around the bumblebee. So I'm going to start with my blue. Make sure you wash your brush out. Get a little bit of paint on it. And now we're going to take it and just kind of go like that. We just want to brush a little bit of blue so that we know it's the sky around the bumblebee. We're not going to actually be touching the bumblebee anywhere. We just want some blue around it. And this is really the fun part because you can just do it however you want your blue. You can paint it all the way around the edges. You can paint it around the top. This is however you want your blue. I'm going to go a little bit in here, a little bit across the top so that now I have blue all the way around my bumblebee. Now we're going to wash out our brush again. Get all that blue out because we're going to be putting some black on your bumblebee. I bet your bumblebee's looking good now. Does it look like a bumblebee? I hope so. Alright, now we're going to get our black. And remember, we painted all the yellow. We're just going to go in here and paint the black. So we have just a couple of places to put some black. And we'll go right along the edge and paint the black. And if you go over the yellow a little bit, that is fine. Just makes it get a little closer together. Go all the way up this edge. And remember, we're going to be outlining it later. And we'll do a little bit with our small brush on the black just to get around the edges. All right, here's one section. Let's get the other one all the way around the bottom and up the sides. It's starting to look more like a bumblebee. This section really good here. And if you cover a little bit of the yellow, that's okay because the black will cover it. Now, this last section, when we start to do the tail, I'm going to do it with the little brush because see, we've got a little area to do and we don't want to try to do that. So take your little brush, put some black on it, and let's cover in the last little tail area. And you can make it a curly tail, or you can make it a straight. And actually on a bumblebee, is that the stinger? So you can make that bumblebee's tail however you want to make it. I'm going to make mine kind of round and long. Big bumblebee. If any of the blue is on that, just cover right over it. And that's okay because black will cover right over the top of any of the blue. And remember, we're going to outline it later with a Sharpie. So we can go back and touch up any of it we want to with our Sharpie later. Once it's all good and dry. Like these are going to be really nice bumblebees. How's your bumblebee doing? We'll cover this one a little bit more here. There we go. Now, look at all the stripes on your bumblebee. The next thing we want to do is put some eyes. So we're going to go in here and put some eyes. And you can see through kind of where the eyes are. Just make you two round, oval, however you want to make its eyes. Just right where you see those dots. And then we're going to do the little top parts, go up and around. 
and around. Just take your time with that. Use your little brush and go around. And if you don't want to do it with the brush, you can always do that with the Sharpie later. Whatever you want to do on your bead. Now then, what do we have left on the bumblebee? We've got some eyes, we've got some wings, maybe a mouth. All bumblebees need a nice big smile. So let's wash out our brush again and get the red. And let's put a nice mouth on our bumblebee. Clean that brush. Got to make sure you get all that black out of it. And take your red. Doesn't take a lot of red. Take your little brush. And see if you can make a little smiley face on your bumblebee. I think I'm going to give it a couple little sides on the cheeks and then go right around to make a smile on my bumblebee. There we go. Now my bumblebee smiling. So we're going to let this dry overnight. So it's good and dry. Or you can see if in the afternoon, depending on when you're doing this, then we'll take the Sharpie and go around the wings and the head, and you have your bumblebee. Our picture is all dry, so let's take our bumblebee and we're going to outline. So we're going to start, see, all the way around, up around the wings we're going to be outlining. We're going to go all the way around the head, just so that we have our bumblebee. So you can see all the pretty wings and you can see its nice head. So start with your Sharpie, and you're going to start going just around all these edges. Let's sit down and see if we can get all of it. We'll go around the, the edges here, around the bottom. All this you see, this yellow, make sure you get your Sharpie and go around it. We'll go all the way around the wings and all the way around the head. Now, that's what your B will look like when you finish. You've gone all the way around the wings all the way around the head and make sure you get all the yellow lines in. Now you have your pretty bumblebee. Thanks and maybe we can do another painting later.